everybody, it's Patrick from Travels with Delaney. Today I'm doing a quick review of the two coolers we used on our recent trip out west. If you followed our series going west, you know we had refrigerator issues in our trailer and we had to add a second cooler. So we started the trip out with this one and then we added this one when we got to Rawlings, Wyoming. So I want to review these. Both of these were purchased at Walmart. They are the Ozark Trail brand of coolers. So let's start with this top one, the one we added. This is what they call a 24 can cooler. It is soft and it supposedly holds 24 cans, but I'm telling you, you're not gonna get much ice in if you put 24 cans in here. We typically kept between eight and 12 bottles of water in here when we were using it as a water cooler, plus our ice. Um, it does have some nice features. It's got this great handle with a shoulder pad for carrying. Um, it has the zipper on top, so you can open it up. Okay. Again, it's a soft-sided cooler. Um, it has a very small pouch here in front. Not sure what you would put in there. Maybe some documents, um, some paperwork, very little though. And then it has a built-in bottle opener. What I really like about this cooler is this top flap. It's Velcro, and you can easily reach in and grab yourself something cold to drink. And so while we were driving, it was wonderful because you could reach behind the seat, flip it open, grab a bottle of water, close it, no issues. The downside to this cooler is it only held ice for approximately 24 to 36 hours. So in terms of keeping food cold, um, it was a real drain trying to keep enough ice. If you're using it strictly for beverages, um, then I think it works fine. And so we're gonna use it on trips just for the purpose of keeping soda and water cold. But just realize its limitations. It's not gonna hold ice for three or four days, regardless of what the paperwork says. In fact, it says it'll keep beverages cold for up to three days, but when you read the fine print, it says if kept at no more than 72 degrees. So, uh, we paid $39.99 for this, this cooler. Um, again, I think it's a decent cooler. It's not a great cooler, but for if you realize what its purpose is, um, like we're going to just for keeping bottles of water cold, then I think it'll be fine. The other cooler we used was the hard-sided, what they call a roto mold, just like the Yetis, um, Ozark, and this is a 26 quart cooler. And it has two rubber latches. It's got a really nice handle for carrying it. Again, it's hard. Um, has a couple of places you can set beverages on top, and it even has a built-in ruler, so I guess if you were fishing, you could measure your fish. It has this really nice seal, and so it gets a really tight seal when you close this up. And you can see you almost have to kind of pull to latch those. But it's sealed tight. Now this did hold the ice much better, and we could go two to three days and still have ice in there. Um, I'm really impressed with this one. We paid $97 at Walmart for this particular cooler. Now you might wonder, why does he have a lock and why would you want to lock it? Would you believe that this particular cooler, when locked, is certified by um, uh, against grizzly bears? And so out west, if you wanted to leave your cooler outside, um, you could because when it's padlocked, this is actually certified to keep grizzly bears or black bears out of it. So for the price, this is about a third of the price of the Yeti. Now the Yeti might keep ice a little bit longer, but for the price, we were really happy with this. And so I would definitely buy this cooler again. Again, realizing I'm only gonna get maybe two to three days on ice, but that's pretty good when you think about it. They do make this in bigger sizes. Um, with this particular one, we could keep milk and juice and we kept um, yogurts in here and we had fresh fruits and some cheese and some meats and then plenty of ice um, so that it would stay cold but if you need a bigger cooler they do make these in, in bigger sizes and they're a little more expensive obviously the higher you go I also did not find the bigger ones in the stores you do have to order those online but both of these can be purchased at Walmart um, at a local store so those are the two coolers that we used and like I said you know, this one I would highly recommend again. Um, for us, we were very pleased for the price because I just didn't want to spend $300 for a cooler. This one, um, I like it only from the standpoint that it fits behind the seat 
and it's great for keeping beverages cold, but just realize you're gonna be putting ice in it every, probably every 36 hours if you wanna keep it iced down. But for $39.99 and the convenience of being able to get into it easily, um, it's still not a bad value. So those are the two coolers we used. I hope that information's helpful. If you have questions or comments, leave them down below in the comment box. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share. We appreciate all of our followers and we look forward to gaining more. So we'll see everybody on down the road.